I can't believe it. More trouble. I'm never going to get this layout finished. Well, it looks like something's going on at Foxy's nightclub. The police are down there. I see two squads, two squad cars. And I suppose somebody's raising some trouble. Well, I found a building on eBay. And the uh, old looking building, it's going to fit my purpose just perfect. Going to turn it into a mission. That's right. Foxy's is becoming too wild. It's time for a come to Jesus meeting. Well, I decided to work on another project. I'm not sure where this is going to go, but uh, I had bought a couple of buildings. Um, got them pretty cheap on uh, eBay. Going to do a little more work to the roof. And um, I'm, I painted all the walls in there black. They weren't painted before. Uh, I, I'm going to try and put a scene in this building, a little scene. So I'll have to, uh, I'm painting the walls black, hoping the light won't go through the, the building itself. And then I'm going to paint another color over that. And I may even put a, a you know, a ceiling in at the, at the first floor line, I'm not I'm not sure yet. And there'll be a little light in the building. That's going to be the floor, and I'll glue all my figures and everything to that, and then that'll go like so. And then I'm going to drill a hole, a couple little holes. I got to make a slot here. Because I'm going to put this sign in there. I don't know if you can see that. And that sign is going to go in here. So I have to I have to cut a hole, a slot for that to fit into. Without destroying the building, of course. So I thought I'd drill a few, a series of little holes and then work on it with a razor knife and see what happens. So this is one of those uh, animated uh, Miller Engineering signs that I'm going to put in this building. And this is all the parts that go in that kit. Oh, this is a battery pack. And uh, I'll be changing that and putting that uh, direct wire. I had to peel back the roof a little bit. I might have to take it off. I need to be able to get in there and plug all this stuff in. But I've got my um, slot cut anyway. We'll see how that works. Well, once you know it, I had to take the roof off. So that's where I'm at with this now. Then I'll uh, put the the roof back on it. The whole second floor winds up being wires for that sign. And then I added a wall on the back to hide all those wires. And put like a ceiling or a, you know, a floor up in there. You won't see much of that. That'll be pretty much dark. That's why... Um, I'm not too worried about it. And then um, it's like a, 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 a ceiling when you look up in there and then that's a, a fake wall that I put in front of all those wires and everything. And then um, this will be the floor that the building sits on. And then I'll put the the roof back on it, but I have to, um, I'm making some benches here, and then I'll, uh, I'll glue a couple of them to the sides at the floor, and then I'll put a couple of benches on there, and we'll see what it looks like when I get it together then. So I made some benches. 
and place some people on them. Yeah. And that's going to go in. That's the floor. I don't know if you can see that guy back there preaching. Yeah, that's my friend Todd. Yep. Hi, Todd. Yeah. And then I made some more benches and I glued them up to the side. I don't know if you can see them in there. There's one that way. And then there's another one over here. Yeah. So when you stand it up, there'll be benches on both sides. So now I've got to get this uh, floor glued in. I'm waiting for everything to dry because I don't want to put it in there and have everything fall off of it. I did, you know, super glue it, but well, I got to make sure. Then that's just like a false ceiling with the light. And then I did get the roof back on, but I have to do a little bit of work to it and and she'll be good to go and we'll try her out. Well, I put the roof back on and uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I kind of slopped a little bit of joint compound on top of it. I kind of moistened it up and uh, I use a paintbrush and I uh, slop it on there and I went uh, sideways on it um, just to try and make it look like it's textured and, and that there's, you know, some tar that was slopped up and then I'm I kind of keep it all messy looking some of those old buildings on the back sides and everything were pretty messy up there on the tops so I think I'll live with that so I wanted to see if I could see what's going on in there I don't know, maybe if I turn the light down a little more Well, you know what happened? The glass was so foggy in the windows and in the door that I couldn't even see into the building to see the people. And, you know, I can't have that. I was looking to get an old look, so the fogginess on this window and the transoms above don't bother me too much. But I had to change the glass on the windows and on the door. So I had to cut this out with a razor knife and then file around the edges to get it smooth enough to put to put a piece of glass over the back side of everything. Um, and it came out pretty good. And I can see the people real good now. And, you know, this was a used building, so you get what you get, you know. But getting back to the glass, I, I like saving things like this. You see this piece of plastic here? I'll cut that out. I'll, I'll cut it out and then I'll just put it in a box and save it so that if I get other buildings and the, and the glass is bad, I can use that for, for windows. And I'll show you how nice that looks. Well, look at that. It looks like they're having a service already. Great job, Todd!
So, like I said, that's one of the buildings that I had bought that that uh, from eBay. You know, if I get a reasonable price, uh, then I, I repurpose it, just like I did for Foxy's. That's a repurposed building, and uh, I've got another one that I'm going to be doing of a. Salvation Army uh, Soup Kitchen. I'm going to turn a building into that to go along with the mission building I just built. But, uh, you know, that's one way to do something kind of on the cheap side. And, you know, that glass, I wanted it to look like an old building, and you know, but the glass in the windows was just too bad. So I had to take it all apart and change it. But, hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Anyway, I'll catch you on my next one. You have a great day.